For the filling, remember to press record and soak some shiitake mushrooms in boiling water for half an hour. Mince up some spring onion stalks and garlic cloves. Then be grateful you forgot to record because you almost chop your finger off. Spend half an hour trying to stop the bleeding, then wrap in a band-aid. Place your pork mince, spring onions, garlic in a mixing bowl along with some sesame oil, soy sauce, white pepper and shocking wine. A type of Chinese rice wine used for cooking and drinking. So if you have a strong enough stomach, take a few swigs. Zest in a lemon, which is actually meant to be an orange, but it's not. You can use either, it's just for a touch of freshness. Once the mushrooms have soaked, drain and begin to dice up. Avoid using your gross band-aid finger from touching them. Place them into the bowl and begin to mix everything together. You don't have to use chopsticks, but it looks cooler. Mix in the same direction until everything is incorporated and the mixture has a paste-like texture. Place that off to the side so everybody gets to know everybody. It's just a tad awkward at the moment. It's time for some chili oil. Dry roast Sichuan peppercorns and dried chili peppers until fragrant. Place into a mortar and pestle and begin grinding until you have a fine powder. About the consistency of a store brought chili flakes. Place the spice mix into a heat proof bowl and pour over some oil that you've heated in a pan until glycerine. I used about a quarter of cup here and I found it to be way too much and ended up removing most of it so start off with about two tablespoons. Let that sit for five minutes and the garlic cloves to a bowl along with soy sauce, black vinegar, sesame oil and some sugar. Mix until the sugar has dissolved, then add it to the chili oil. Give it a stir and voila, you now have delicious sour vinegar chili oil. Now time to shape some dumplings. Place a teaspoon of meat mixture into the centre of the wrapper. Moisten the edges, fold in half and press down along the edge to make sure everything is sealed. Grab the two bottom corners and fold them towards each other. Press to seal. Give it a little touch up to make sure everything is sealed nicely. You don't want any leakage. And now you're ready to cook. Bring a pot of water to the boil and gently place in a few wontons at a time. Don't overcrowd the pot because large crowds give wontons anxiety. Boil for five minutes or until floating and remove the slotted spoon and place on a board to drain. Place nicely into a serving bowl and get drizzly with that chili oil. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you make your own wontons at home. And if you do, please tag me in your pitch at Tilly Eats on Instagram or there's a Facebook page called All About Dumplings. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another episode.